So I'm just going to make this short video real quick and uh, hopefully I can help some people out there that are that have gone through the same thing that I went through on uh, 2016 Chevy Silverado 1500, um, the 5.8 or 5.3 rather. Uh, sorry, I'm eating something right now. Anyway, so I had a heck of a time. Starter, uh, truck wouldn't start. You'd hear the click at the starter. Uh, the sil you'd hear the solenoid engaging, but it just wouldn't turn over. Um, and it would, and, and when it first started, it was real spotty. It would just kind of work when it wanted to, you know. Uh, those that are dealing with it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It just, so it didn't make any sense. So I thought it was my relays. I went through, I went through all that, went through electrical, ran a multimeter. The, the, the hot side was fine. I was getting powder, everything. Um, thought it was a starter. And I actually saw, I watched a video with a guy that, that, uh, resonated with because he was going through exact same scenario. Um, and he pulled his starter. Uh, I pulled my starter as well. Uh, went and got it checked. Starter was fine. You know, didn't need a new starter. So I was, it was really frustrating because I kind of wanted it to be, um, the starter because my problem would have been solved, you know? So I felt, uh, and in the video that I watched though, when he put his starter back in, bam, the truck cranked right up. When I did it, uh, it did not crank right up. So it got me thinking on the connections and, and it's, it's obviously a connection problem. There's obviously, obviously something electrical is not, it's not connecting proper. So, um, what I actually did in the, in the beginning, uh, before I found, I figured out the fix was I went back under and I readjusted the power to the starter and my truck started right up. It made no freaking sense, man. It made no sense. So, but that was, that was, that was only short lived. Uh, a couple days later, same thing. Bam, nothing. Um, so what it ended up being is my ground at the battery terminal. Because in, I'll explain a little bit what happened and, and why I kind of got to that conclusion. And trucks, this is, I, I, I'm not making this video on a fly. It has been weeks since I replaced that. Truck starts every time. So it was definitely that. It was definitely that ground that that ground at the ground uh, at the battery terminal. I replaced that whole ground wire. You can get it on Amazon. I think I paid uh, eighty bucks or whatever it was. Um, really easy. It's uh, two two wires. Uh, the small wire goes to your frame. Large wire goes to your uh, your block. Um, and before you think that maybe it was just the connection at one of those, no, I, I took both of those off. I cleaned the frame off. I cleaned that area off to make sure there was a good connection, uh, before I replaced the wire because I was actually looking at that because this did not happen. And it was the same thing in the video that I had watched with the, with the guy that replaced the starter and it worked, um, was he had just replaced his battery. And same thing with me. Uh, I had just replaced the battery. And it was a couple of days later I was having these issues. Um, so, I mean, and it, what the sad part is, that was the first thing that I looked at was that ground terminal. And I actually pulled, there's a there's a, a heat shrink sleeve that's on the two wires that goes into the battery terminal. I actually cut that off and pulled that off and was looking at it and was, because it felt kind of loose, but I had nothing to compare it to from what it was before. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't know or remember how it was. It just felt kind of loose. So. Um, and it still doesn't make sense because what I did is to make sure that it wasn't that I went and wrapped some copper wiring around it to make sure, uh, everything was connected and, um, it didn't, it, that didn't help at all. So replace that ground wire. It's super simple. Um, you know, when, when you do pull it, make sure you clean your areas up again, even though I already did. I went the extra mile, cleaned everything up just a way better, you know, even more efficient. And then I actually connected the wire and spray painted it to, to keep it, everything sealed up. Um, it's just two wires. It's super simple. It takes about 20 minutes to do. Um, and yeah, that was it, man. So hopefully this helps somebody out. Hopefully it takes, saves you a lot of time and uh watching a five minute video or so then it took me hours to figure this out man i was it was just going through everything i've watched like you know 15 videos of could be this could be that should be this should be that and it was none of the above it was just the ground wire at the battery terminal so hope it helps man have a good one